There are times in the history of our nation when our very way of life depends upon awakening to the challenge of a present danger. Sea levels are rising, fires are raging, storms are stronger. Military experts warn us our national security is threatened by massive waves of climate refugees, destabilizing countries around the world. And scientists tell us the very web of life is endangered by unprecedented extinctions. We are facing a planetary emergency, which if not solved would exceed anything we've ever experienced in the history of humankind. We ran for our lives and now we are dying here for food. We're dying even for clothes. All our animals are also dying. Even a woman who has given birth doesn't get any food. flooding in Houston after torrential rain forced the city to essentially shut down. The floodwaters left many residents trapped in their own homes and vehicles. Thousands of people in the town of Namur were evacuated, spending the night in emergency shelters. At least nine people have died in South Carolina following what officials are calling a thousand year storm. Starting in 1970, there was a precipitous drop-off in the amount and extent and thickness of the Arctic ice cap. It has diminished by 40% in 40 years. That's not good for creatures like polar bears who depend on the ice. A new scientific study shows that for the first time they're finding polar bears that have actually drowned swimming long distances, up to 60 miles, to find the ice. The answer is to end our reliance on carbon-based fuels. Scientists have confirmed that enough solar energy falls on the surface of the Earth every 40 minutes to meet 100% of the entire world's energy needs for a full year. So today, I challenge our nation to commit to producing 
100% of our electricity from renewable energy and truly clean carbon-free sources within 10 years. To those who say 10 years is not enough time, I respectfully ask them to consider seriously what the world scientists are telling us about the risks we face if we don't act in less than 10 years. Those leading experts predict that we have less than 10 years to make dramatic changes in our global warming pollution, lest we lose our ability to ever recover from this environmental crisis. It represents a challenge to all Americans in every walk of life, to our political leaders, entrepreneurs, innovators, engineers, and to every citizen. 